Right now, the United States travel ban has been lifted for people from specific countries like China and much of Europe. That's one of three coronavirus headlines we're following for you tonight. The U.S. is also reopening land borders with Canada and Mexico after being closed for over a year and a half. All adults traveling into the U.S. must be fully vaccinated before boarding their flight, and travelers will still have to show proof of a negative COVID-19 test taken within 72 hours of departure. Children under 18 are not required to be vaccinated, but they do need to provide a negative COVID test. Kids ages 2 and younger are exempt. Seeking care at a hospital could infect you with COVID-19. One analysis shows it's happened to more than 10,000 people in the U.S. Kaiser Health News examined medical records, Medicare records rather, and discovered patients seeking care for things like heart attack and, and kidney failures ended up contracting COVID-19 while in the hospital. And some of them did not survive. The data comes from 2020 when protective gear and COVID tests were in short supply. A Biden administration official says Pfizer is expected to seek emergency authorization for its COVID booster in patients 18 and older. Right now, the FDA has only given the green light for people 65 or older six months after a full vaccination course and for people at increased risk of contracting COVID-19 due to medical, living or working conditions. The new request would extend the order to any adult.